Stefan, I love coming to exhibitions and seeing uh, technology like we've got here from WFL. It must be such a pleasure for you to work for an organisation where you can be involved in, in projects like this. I mean, tell us about this uh, M50. Yeah, first of all, it's a for sure a pleasure for me to work for WFL for more than 20 years already. And here we can see the M50G mill turn with a three meter center distance with our all new TBM unit, turning boring milling unit with a, a power of maximum 40 kilowatts and also with a new uh, tool accommodation up to HSK100 or cup to C8. What do you need so much power in there? Is that because of the, you're known for your harder materials and applications like this? Yeah, we're pretty well known for for real serious high performance machining of, of tough materials like HRSA materials, titanium, such stuff. And therefore you need this power, you need the torque, you need the stability, you need all these things. Uh, you call, what did you call that? A turning, boring and? We, we call it turning, boring milling unit, TBM. And what U. is the milling capability on it? I mean, is it as good as a machining center, if not better? Uh, it's for sure as good as a machining center or even better. Uh, a great, uh, one of the biggest benefits of our milling unit is uh, this unit is not trim, it has no built-in drive, it has an external drive sitting right on top of this milling head and so we can gain more power even at lower rest and we have at the same time more torque due to the ratio of the gear. Okay, now this is quite a big machine but do, is there an option for them to have longer bed lengths and things like that? Yes, for sure. We, we built this machine starting from a length of, of one meter and at, especially at the M50, it's the first machine size of WFL with, with six meter center distance from this such small machines, let's say. Okay. We do much bigger machines as well. And, and, and what, sort of, what sort of diameter swing can you get on here as well? Because it's At the M50 machine, we can have up to 670 millimeter turning diameter. Right, okay. And the amount of tools you have in the back as well? Uh, that's obviously going to be important. We have a this type, standard wise, we have a this type magazine starting from, from 36 tools up to 200 tools. Um, when you're machining materials like this, in, 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 I suppose in the speed that you need to, metal removal um, improvements and things like that, mm -hmm. how do you maintain the machines, or how does the machine maintain the tolerance on the parts? Yes. As you can see here now, we use, we use intense probing in an intense way we have dedicated probing cycles for for virtually every everything you need to measure during the process we have can cycles for this easy to use cycles and a perfect software to compensate uh, deviations due to tool wear temperature and such things so how do they last so long Stefan when you think they're doing demanding machining like this on harder materials how do they maintain tolerance for so many years Yes, WFL is for sure well known for long-term accuracy of, this, of our machines. We do the machines exclusively made out of cast iron. No, we have no welded sheet metal on the, on the back of a machine. We have massive, uh, massive sheet metal covers like here on the bottom slides. And what about things like keeping the machine to a certain, you know, stopping thermal growth? Do you have all of those things factored into the build of this too? Of course, the machine is uh, is built with, with uh, the built-in drives. We have a separate cooling unit for to reduce the heat inside the spindles or inside the, the drives. Uh, at the milling head, as I mentioned before, the drive itself is outside of a TBM unit, so we don't have a heat generated inside the milling head. We have it outside. So we have this is a big difference to to mm. some competitors. And additionally, of course, we have sensors and where we can measure the temperature. We have a can, a can cycle, for example, to compensate temperature deviation, for example. And I know you got up, you can have up to 200 uh, tools on this machine. Is that right? That's right. Wow, that's that's a lot. Um, and also, you can have Capto C8 or HSK A100 on the machine. So you've got flexibility there too. Yes, this, at this machine says at the M50, it starts from HSK 63 or Capto C6. On this, there's a little bit smaller milling head or TPM unit, we say. And for the bigger power demands, torque demands, we have this new TPM unit with up to 40 kilowatts and HSK100 or Cup to C8. And um, what about the M20? What's your take on that? That's quite some machine, isn't it? It's a beautiful machine. It's, a, it's our brand new baby, let's say. And it's, it looks just nice and also 
The performance we have learned so far is just great. Why is it good? What have they done to it, to that machine, to make it uh, turn so many heads here this week? Yeah, the machine uh, can be equipped, for example, with several different features. For example, especially at the bottom slide, you can equip it with a with a more or less standard turret. You can equip it with a steady rest slide, or as we show here on the show, with a single tool carrier, where you have virtually an unlimited number of tools. It's, it's total flexibility, isn't it? It means that you can almost machine anything that's complex. You've got a very powerful milling spindle there. You've got the flexibility to turn on the, either the top uh, milling head or the bottom as well, haven't you? Yeah. So you can really mix and match how you make parts. That's the way it is, that's the way it is. The machine can be tailored to the customer needs. Customer's needs. Uh, we can, whatever the customer needs, more or less whatever, uh, we can equip the machine with, as I mentioned, with a single tool carrier. This tool carrier, carrier enables, for example, uh, uh, operator-free operation during weekends, for example. You have no limitation of tools. And with an integrated cell, for example, you can do a well, this is what I was going to ask you next. That's, that's the real bonus here, isn't it? The fact that you've got that, that conveyor system where you can load and unload parts. Exactly, exactly. This is, and this is also why, why we've introduced this single tool carrier at the bottom. Because with a turret, you would always have an issue that the tool, if a tool wears, some, the operator would have to change the tool, would have to stop the machine, and then to continue the process. But if, if nobody's... But that, that conveyor is integrated into the machine as well, isn't it, for your loading and unloading? That's quite a smart option That's for the unmanned running, the conveyor. Especially for this purpose, we've built this integrated cell. Uh, uh, it gives us the benefit, or gives the customer the benefit, to run the machine unmanned. It can run during night shift, for example. And the way we've designed it, to, uh, the, the target was to use as less space as possible. Yeah? And also, and also, the, the, sometimes at gantry loading systems, you have a hate issue with a, with a shop floor hole. With this integrated cell, you don't have all these issues now.